Hey guys, welcome back to Life of Randy. I am Randy. Thank you so much for stopping by. If this is your first time, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you are notified every time that I drop a new video. If this is not your first time, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to show you a very simple drugstore makeup tutorial for beginners. This is something that I do almost every time that I go out. It's a very easy look. You can find any of these products at your local drugstore, whether it be CVS, Walgreens, Rite Aid. Some of it you can also find at Target or Walmart. These are very budget-friendly items from the brushes to the palettes to the foundation. Everything that I'm going to show you today, I've gotten from a drugstore. So stick around and let's get into it. I've already done my eyebrows and if you want a nice little step-by-step -step tutorial on that, you can click in the link right up here and that will take you to the eyebrow tutorial. But from then, I'm just going to continue my makeup. I made sure to moisturize my face and also add any product that I may need right before doing my makeup. And you always want to make sure that you let it set so that everything is not slippery and oily and everything adheres to your skin properly. So you want to make sure that all of your skin products have been absorbed by your skin before you start your makeup routine. I always start with my e.l.f. hydrating primer. What I love about e.l.f. is that they have many effective primers, so you can always choose the one that fits your face the best. You want to make sure that you apply the primer to your face and to your neck. The foundation that I'm using is the Black Radiance Color Perfect Oil-Free Foundation in the shade Espresso. I know you can't tell by the look of this bottle, but yeah, that's what I'm using. And again, I'm applying the foundation from my face to my neck so that my face doesn't look like it's not part of my body. And I'm using my e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush to blend everything well together. You can also use a beauty blender. I like to mix these two e.l.f. concealers in the shades Rich Chocolate and Deep Cinnamon to highlight my face. Again, there is a variety of shades to pick from when it comes to the e.l.f. concealers. I have to change out this blending brush, but anyways, I'm just blending my concealers. And again, for this, you can use a beauty blender. It works well too. Next, I'm using my e.l.f. concealer in the shade Rich Ebony to contour my face. This is a good alternative to have as opposed to an expensive contour stick. Just make sure you do not overdo it like I just did. A little goes a long way with this. So after I blended everything, I realized how much I put, but no worries. I just went back in with a deep cinnamon concealer to fix my extraness. Now it's time for baking. I'm using the Black Radiance Loose Setting Powder in the Honeymoon shade. But for a bolder look, you can also use Banana Powder, which works great here. Using a tiny dry beauty blender, I'm applying the powder to my T-zone, my nose and my chin, and under my cheekbones. And for some reason, I forgot to do my under eyes, but this will be the time to do so. And while I was baking, I used that time to do my eyeshadow using an e.l.f. palette. I'm using the dark transition color on my outer lid, then using this warmer orange tan color from this Wet n Wild palette for my inner crease.
then with an elf eyeshadow brush I'm applying this shimmer rosy color to my lower lid and blending that in with the eyeshadow blending brush I had to blend out the loose powder before continuing my eyeshadow so I did that using an elf total face brush And before going back to my eye makeup, I made sure to prepare my Ardell lashes with the Duo Glue. I'm using the e.l.f. eyeshadow lacquer in the copper pop color for my lower lids and tear duct area. Prepped my eyelashes with mascara and while the duo glue was setting, I went ahead and did my lips with the Revlon lipstick in the shade Chocolicious. Topped with the Black Radiance Matte Lip Cream in the Tastemaker color. <laughs> Sorry for that, I'm still learning. And then I topped that one off with the e.l.f. lip lacquer in the shade Love Bite. And finally, my lashes are ready to put on. So lashes can be really tricky, but the more you do it, the more you practice, the better it gets. Seriously, I used to give up on looks just because of the lashes. Let me know in the comments below who else out there struggles with lashes. Then I use this waterproof e.l.f. eyeliner pen to add depth to the shadow and also cover any excess glue. I then blended my lashes with my e.l.f. lash extending mascara and I also applied some to my lower lashes. For the highlight, I'm using my Black Radiance Baked Bronzer in the shade Ginger Snap, applying it with an e.l.f. bronzer brush. To finish it all up, I'm using the Black Radiance Dewy Setting Spray. And voila. There you have it guys. This was my drugstore makeup tutorial. I hope that you guys were able to keep up with me. Again, this is for beginners. I'm a beginner. I'm learning just as much as whoever is watching. So if you have any tips, please let me know in the comments below. I had a lot of fun shooting this video and now I'm ready to go out. I'm not really sure where to, but I'm ready to rock this look. It is super cute. I'm wearing it with my Shein bralette and I think that this is a super cute nighttime look and it does not take very long if you know what you're doing. I did make a couple mistakes, sorry about that. I just didn't realize how much the lighting was affecting my makeup. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Please make sure to like this video and to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you know whenever I drop a new video. Make sure to share this video with other beginners. And if you have any tips, again, please put them in the comments below. Thank you guys so much. Mwah.